Hi guys, it's Sam and I am going to be doing a what's in my work bag video and I probably should film this next month because I'm still trying to work out what I'm bringing, what I'm not bringing. Every day I take something out, put something in and I probably should film it but I'm going to film it now because I am alert, I'm awake. I say that because Tuesday night, I started Tuesday, to Monday night, Tuesday night. I had gotten maybe a total of two two hours sleep. That would have been insane. I had gotten about five hours of sleep for two days. And that was just insanity last night. I fell asleep before 10 p.m. And for me, that is so unheard of that I was really happy that I fell asleep that early. Uh, because I'm, I work at a school and I, I am with people's children and I would never want to not be 100% alert and I was feeling really crappy yesterday. I was even drinking soda, which I normally don't do, uh, to just keep myself awake. It, coffee was not doing it, so I never want to feel like that. And I'll, I know some days it's going to happen where, you know, you're not going to get your full eight hours, but I want to try to, at least during the week, uh, to be alert and I did that yesterday it was it felt so good this morning and today I felt really good about sleeping uh, I know not everybody needs the eight hours but I definitely do and some people I've read that you even need more so I uh, I'm hoping that I can continue this trend and get a really good night's sleep because I do have to wake up really early since I commute. And that's another reason why I bring a lot more stuff. I'm rationalizing, but that's just, I am the type of, you've seen my clothes, my makeup. I like to have a lot of things and it's, it's no different with what's in, my, what I bring with me in my purse. I have big purses and I like to pack them with a lot of stuff it's rare only like what is special occasion will I bring a small purse um but I have to commute so that's a, another big reason why I bring a lot of stuff with me and it's just I'm gonna try to pare it down to essentials but this is what I have right now it was my third day of work and so it's a lot of stuff. And I also want to share with you my makeup. I, the only thing I applied, I didn't even put powder. And I should have. I think I'm really shiny. I only put lip balm on because, uh, I don't know, I just wanted something on my lips. I feel like since put I put on my makeup at 6 a.m., it's about 5 p.m. right now. And I feel like my makeup looks pretty good for it. For I haven't touched up touch, touched it up at all. And I feel really good about the way that it looks. Still look perfect, but I think it looks pretty good. And if you want to see uh, the stuff that I put on my face, let me know. I'm also working on that as well every day, trying different looks. But what I have been gravitating towards is uh, my Maybelline color tattoos. I feel like they last a long time. Now I did put the which ones did I use today? I put uh, Rich Mahogany which is this sparkly brown. And then I put, this one is the L'Oreal Fallible uh, Bronze Taupe. And these just go so good together. So that's what I have on my eyes. And I, I bet you yeah, it will go all day. Uh, so that's been really helpful. And I think I will do a video on that as well. I'm just thinking of stuff that will help you guys. Uh, um, even if you don't do a 9 to 5, you're looking for just a long wearing look. Okay, so. Please don't be shocked at what I'm about to show you here. I, I've shown this bag before. I absolutely love it. I got it at TJ Maxx in Florida. I don't think they make this anymore. Uh, but this is my bag and it's so heavy. I don't know how many, how much it is. I should have weighed it before I showed you guys. So let me show you this first. This is my lunchbox. It's from Amazon. I got it. Uh, I'm sorry, I got it from Amazon, and the brand is Skip Pop. It's for kids, obviously, but I, you know, this was an owls were big, but I still think that it's super cute, and I didn't want it to go to waste uh, just because I was working a new job. Uh, it helps that I work in a school, uh, but yeah, this is just, this is my lunchbox. I bring with me 
Uh, the first thing I didn't bring much, but today I brought a sandwich, chips, oranges, orange slices, and it helps to uh, pre... Uh, what do you call that? You pre... You take the skin off the oranges and put them into a baggie. I find that it helps a lot. Um, and a few other snacks and things like that are in there. Here's my water. water. <laughs> Am I a little kid or what? I... I guess I just want to hold on to it. I mean, I I like the SIG. This is the SIG Hello Kitty water bottle. Um, I kind of wish it was a bigger one, but it, it actually fits into that owl lunchbox. So it kind of works out. And I think I need more water because I hardly drink any water at all. Uh, so that's a problem because I, you could tell with your fingers, I feel like there's like lines on them. A pair of socks. My feet tend to sweat, and it, I know this is going to be gross, but I, I also want to tell you tips on what helps me. Um, putting on a pair of socks, it just soaks up the extra moisture, and there you go. Uh, I also have my planner. The only reason that I would say that that size is too big is because it adds a lot more weight, but I really like having that size planner. And then here is my my notebook that I write every day what I do since it is a new job um, just handwriting and taking notes is uh, a good way for me to remember okay uh, very important charger I have an external but I um, I just bring that because I could charge it in a socket it charges much faster that way uh, cardigan. I didn't even wear this. It's so hot at the school. And that's another thing I want to talk, talk about was my makeup. Um, I had sweat from the minute I walk into the building to when I leave. It's just when you have a lot of kids and adults around, no matter how much you air condition a school, it's just, it doesn't help, especially the hallway. Next is probably the most important thing that I will bring with me. It is my coffee mug. I really like it. It's so cute. I feel like I got this at Walmart or Target. I don't know where Bubba's sold, but I feel like it's one of those. And this holds about, I want to say 10 to 12 ounces of coffee. So I really like this. And um, it just, it doesn't leak. It's really a really good mug. Okay, next is... Got some napkins here. Oh no, I didn't mean to take this with me. This is um, post-its, another post-its with lines on them. And I take notes uh, also on post-its if I'm not near my notebook and I qu quickly want to write something. And I don't know what happened to my feet. And this is the same story with when I went to Miami and I was walking around. Maybe it's a stress thing I'm thinking. Uh, cause it doesn't happen normally. My feet got blisters, both of my feet got blisters and they were really bad. So I had to get something when I was at, um, my job uh, across the street was a Rite Aid. So I got this and, um, I also brought this with me just in case. Uh, but it's painful, especially when it's both your heels. Okay. My wallet and I'm thinking of downsizing a little bit because this takes up a lot of room. My glasses, uh, these are extra and I want to bring these just in case something happens. I have had a couple times where I've had to take my contacts out and it just, I didn't have any pair of glasses. I didn't have glasses, so uh, I think these are important to have. These are uh, just from, I think, Goggles for You. I want to say Googles for You, but it's, yeah, it's Goggles for You. And then I have a pair of sunglasses. These are, it's a, it's a Ray-Ban case, but these are my Warby Parkers, which I love these. I think uh, these are just really, really nice and they're polarized. Okay, I just have to get them adjusted because they are pretty, uh, they fall behind the ears. And that's because I have a flat face. Okay, then I have, there's a pen. There's, you're going to see that a few times. Let me take out all the Ooh, they're not in the same spot. Uh, scissors. This is a couple of electronic stuff. I should have shown you when I showed the charger. This is my other charger. This just charges so slowly. 
Uh, here is my headphones. Very important if you want to uh, eat lunch in the park and you, you know you don't want anyone to bother you. Usually people won't bother you if you have headphones or if you take public transportation. Anyway, uh, this is just a whole bunch of random things that I need. Uh, so you see there's maxi pads, there's tissues, there's oil blotting papers, which I should use, lotion. Uh, there's also pills in here like um, allergy medicine, Tylenol, things like that. Okay. A uh, bag of candy and there's vitamin C drops in there. Working with little kids, you get a lot of germs. Out toys for after the coffee. I'm getting tired just showing you this stuff. And I feel like I, everything I've shown you, I have used in some way or form. I don't know how I'm going to cut this down. Let me know how you guys, uh, for those of you who commute or those of you who have commuted in the past, how you dealt with uh, bringing just the necessary stuff or how you came about. Or if you haven't. Share with me that too so I don't feel so bad about bringing all this stuff with me. And I have more pens. I don't know where they are. Oh, this is the lipstick that I'm trying to finish up. I should have put that on. Oh, well. Where are my pens? I hope I didn't leave it. I had about two more pens in here. Okay, so that is... You know what? Let me show you what's in here because... I feel like I should be showing you everything. I decided to bring a deodorant because I am sweating, but I didn't use that. Here's a contacts case just in case. You know, I don't have solution in here, so it really doesn't work out. And if you do wear contacts or if you know somebody who wears contacts, if you leave the contacts out and they're soft contacts, they will dry up to a crisp. Uh, I guess if you're really careful, you could wet them again, but it's really dangerous. Uh, they could just break into a million little pieces. Here's a hairbrush, which I didn't use either, but I feel like with the days that I want to brush my hair, I don't have my brush, and I get really annoyed. Okay, pads, napkins, an extra baggie, uh, more napkins. I have this Mentos. I have, let's see, uh, tweezers, Q-tips, and my flossers that I can't live without. So... I guess if I had to pare it down, uh, there, I, I always slouch through the progression of the video. I'm always slouching. Uh, I have face powder. I have, uh, this is a lip balm. Things in here I don't use on a regular basis. So I might have to start condensing this. But I don't know how. Like I said, I'm, I always reach for this stuff sometimes wait no let me reword that i don't always reach for stuff but when i need something it's in this bag and if i don't have it it just gets really annoying it's not a life or death situation or anything but it's like an itch you can't scratch you know you have it but you can't get to it so that is it i hope you guys enjoyed seeing a glimpse into my crazy what's in my work bag hopefully if I show you, if I do an updated video in a couple of months, it'll be a little bit different. I'm thinking I should bring another bag. I don't know. Does that make sense? Have the same amount of stuff, but in two different bags. Maybe put the weight on both shoulders instead of one. I don't know. I hope you guys are all doing well. Uh, let me know what, uh, let me know a couple of things. How you downsize if you do bring a big bag. Uh, and what are your essentials for your purse? The first question makes sense. How did you... Either way, if you still carry a lot of stuff, let me know. If you don't carry a lot of stuff, let me know how you did it. And I'm gonna go because I have to eat. I have to do several things and I want to try to get to bed again before 10 p.m. I do have some leeway on Thursdays and Fridays uh, to get there a little bit later, but... It's kind of annoying to wake up different times during the week, for me anyway. Okay, I hope you guys are all doing well, and I'll talk to you soon.